Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Build episode 22. We are in the process of building a space station that can support up to 10 Kerbals for uh, this year's mission. And it has to have um, a uh, research lab attached as well. So let's see what we got here. We got this guy, minimum crew to operate, crew capacity one. Lander can. <clears throat> Is that really all we have for capsules? The hitchhiker storage container. Crew capacity four. Okay. So one of these. <clears throat> This is probably, this could really be a multi-launch mission, actually. And I might make just make myself an orbital lifter that's capable of pushing this kind of stuff into orbit with a tug. And take some time um, sort of making and connecting this station together. Mass 2.5. What's the capsule that's equivalent? That's 0.84. So there's five crew there, according to my calculations. Um, crew capacity four, crew capacity one, and there is an attachment node here if we wanted to use it. But this is going to be a permanent space station uh, type of thing. So. Let's see what else I want to... Uh, oh yeah, it needs... <clears throat> I'm sorry. It needs to have a... Um, the... Uh, that science lab. Do I not have it unlocked? Hmm. Well, according to the thingamajigger, I have it unlocked. I just need to find it. Oh, it's under science. I thought I clicked under science. Oh well. Alright, how massive is this thing? 3.5. Um... That's 3.5. This thing holds two crew. I think the couple of it will be something that we add on later. <clears throat> um, we're going to put this behemoth into space. Into orbit. <clears throat> Now, uh, something that this thing is going to need for its own sanity is, uh, let me see here, do I have still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I know what I did. <clears throat> it only needs one processing lab, it needs another um, uh, utility, it needs another one of these. And for scenery, you might as well throw on a couple of. So there's that thing. Um, control. I want to throw in a big reaction wheel. Just so this thing can actually keep itself nice and stable. Um, what's our center of mass? <clears throat> well, the reaction wheel is going to be to, to make sure it's aiming the, the right direction. There will be a space tug that um, that is built. Okay, what do we need to we need to name this thing? It's going to be based on the cupola, so it's um, some sort of cool station name. We've done S days, we've done model, we've done um, There it is. We're going to call it the Horizon. Sure. Set that as the root part. Okay, it's the Horizon. 
going into space. Um, now, <clears throat> what I do need to make, I don't necessarily want to, I mean, I could send up crew and stuff with this thing, um, but I'm actually going to send this up unmanned as an automated thing first. And then other ships will come and dock with it uh, when they need to. So, what do we have? Do we have this? What do we have under structural here? What I need under structural is. Um, or is it utility? Yes, the Clampatron docking port. Just stick a docking port there. And to this we're going to attach basically a heavy tug, which I'll end up saving as a separate, um, <clears throat> as a separate, uh, like a ship or um, sub-assembly, that's what I'm talk thinking of. It's going to be saved as a sub-assembly. So, engines. I'll go ahead and put a poodle on there. You got a nice little workhorse engine to be able to manhandle this thing around. Um, this thing. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> okay, requirements for the station. It has a docking port. Um, at least 10 Kerbals, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 at least. Yep. Um... and a research lab, and that's really it. Oh, it has to have power and antenna and a docking port, okay. So we will make sure that this thing has <clears throat> plenty of power available. Utility. Throw on a pair of 1x6 photovoltaics. And a pair of batteries. Just to make sure it has plenty of juice to go through the dark side. <clears throat> um, yep. And it does need an antenna, so under science. We'll give it a nice antenna right there. Good enough. And, uh, you know, it's going to be modular. This is going to be the main core of it. The rest of the stuff we can add on later as we need to. So now we'll work on the sub-assembly, which is the space tug. And the space tug really doesn't need much. Two point oh, three point oh. Um, how about some of these ones though? 1.5. Yep, Poodle's the way to go <clears throat> for this tug. Uh, and the tug needs a um, command and control. The tug needs a stabilization wheel. The tug also needs a probe core. Basically, I'm looking for the best probe core that I have, <laughs> which it looks like it's the the hex.
and a battery. <clears throat> so, uh, one of these little batteries for this hex. Kind of a silly design. In fact, I hate it. <clears throat> um, hmm. So I think I want I want this tug to be re retrievable, ideally. <clears throat> um, I wonder if I have something. Do I have anything that can be radially mounted? <clears throat> I need to somehow radially mount a probe core. That hex probe core is the way to go. I know what I can do. <clears throat> I know what I can do. Um, we'll just do this. Utility will put a small. Put a docking port right there. And this thing will just have two docking ports, which will actually be more useful, really, <clears throat> when I think about it, now that I think about it. Um, structural, take this, turn it around on there. Um, we will have the hex. Actually, we will have. Yeah, the hex will be there. It'll separate by itself. Um, the hex will separate by, its, by itself. And it needs a little bit of fuel of some kind. almost run entirely on monopropellant. <clears throat> Too bad I didn't have this with monoprop. I wonder if I do. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now the hex is just going to have a little bit of control, control, control. Put some RCS all around so it can maneuver. Um, it needs to have not this. It needs to have. Do I have the Clampatron Junior? No. At least it doesn't look like it.
Eh, that's okay. Clampatron, structural. Heck, we could actually flip these around. <clears throat> Go like that. Aerodynamic. Do we have a little nose cone for that thing? Boop. So this can, thing can fly off on its own and um, what it'll be able to do then <clears throat> is actually dock. Um... We're going to do this kind of thing. I'd love to have a docking port down there, but I just can't really make it work. That's where the docking port's going to be. This is just going to be a dead end, I guess, because uh, I need to make this rocket pretty stable. I was kind of hoping I could stick a docking port on this tug. <clears throat> and that's a massive thing to put into orbit. So this tug is just for positioning. Let's try it with the docking port to see how stable it actually ends up being. Structural, this thing. Or wait, uh, I'm sorry. Um, docking port, which is utility. Structural, this thing, which I already have here. And then that guy. So what can happen is that this, this will be able to detach. It'll just float free. Um, this part of the probe can come and grab it. And if I actually put in a big old thing of RCS, then that's a proper tug. And command and control, command and control. A batch of RCS thrusters ready to do some work. So that gives us RCS basically on both sides of the center of mass. Um, <clears throat> and with two reaction wheels, we should have no problem with that. Okay, now I need to figure out how to lift this whole thing into orbit. But one thing I want to do actually is go ahead and go into subassemblies and save this. Orbital tug. Structural for the sake of making things easier. Ooh, hang on. And also for the sake of making things look better. Yes, that looks a lot better to me. Okay, um, structural. Throw four symmetry on and put some struts in there. This one won't wobble around too much. <clears throat> it's so light it won't matter. 
and it doesn't really have any torque or anything, so or not much torque to speak of. Okay, let's, uh... <sighs> this thing's gonna be huge. 33,000 funds rocket. Staging! A big fat stage right there. Put those together. <clears throat> now we know we're lifting a massive hunk of something. So, this guy engines, mainsail. Main sail's the way to go. Main sail's the way to go. Um, and we'll set up some asparagus staged stuff. Fuel, 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 there we go. <laughs> Orange O tank O. <clears throat> Make those aerodynamically stable. Um, oh, wait, 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 propulsion, engines, engines. I do have the LFB. Max thrust 2000. Max thrust 1500. <clears throat> Excuse me. ISP is 340, 360. I still think that's the way to go. Throw a little more fuel in there, I guess. Sure. Well, maybe not that much. How about this much? Kind of guessing here, really, when it comes right down to it. Um, now, structural again. <clears throat> again, back to the... Uh, I wonder if we can do orange tanks with skippers for control. So these orange tanks are going to have skippers. These orange tanks will have mainsails and they'll get dumped first. And everybody's going to be happy as soon as I get some... Um, decorative niceties on the top of these things here. Fuel lines. Okay, so the main sails are going first. That means we're feeding like this. And this is going to be another thing. Call it the heavy lifter. Those fuel lines are all looking good. Make sure my staging is set up correctly. Um, <clears throat> all engines go at the same time. Thank you very much. And then uh, 
the mainsail pair falls away first. And we're going to go ahead and tie in a little bit more. Um... Oh, I need to upgrade my launch pad for this thing to work. Okay, no problem. I have the cash for it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just make sure these uh, tanks are strutted up so they don't wander around too much. <clears throat> and then... Suspend the whole thing like so. And down she goes. That's pretty massive. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't know if this is enough to push this into orbit. All right. That's going to be it for the Let's Build. We need to go ahead and uh, get back to the episode. We're going to upgrade the launch pad and, and put this thing into orbit.